growing up, it, it was, I always found it was like friendly, happy, even though you might think wartime, rationing, we just seemed to drift through it somehow um, without, like, it wasn't painful. Okay, people died. We actually had an incendiary bomb drop behind our front door and the next door neighbour just put it out with a sandbag and we had a, a memento of that bomb <laughs> on our mantelpiece for years. You know, that kind of deal. So as a boy, it was all glamour and living and football came into it, you know, and you made a friend and he lasted for a lifetime. And the things we did, um, which I remember vividly, actually, we always had comics and we'd always swap. We'd make sure if I got the wizard, he wouldn't get it. He'd get the hot spur. And then the, the third leg of this friendship, he'd get the beano. So we'd have a turnaround of uh, comics. That was... Uh, and another, obviously, a big thing in them days was cinema. Me, bunk and school, cinema, cinema, cinema. And then when school holidays came, great. Six weeks school holidays used to be in our local um, parks and we'd have a fun fair come. And obviously, because the kids were off, there was no journeys to go. The park was just around the corner and they'd have um, waltzes and, you know, music was a great thing so you never had to go on it you could listen to the music and it'd have football uh, galleries they used to pull up like um, 10 pin polling type of deal kick a football knock it off win a shilling have another go free go and so it made you quite an expert at kicking a football if you like <laughs> you did it for your pocket money and that you know 